Hey world, yeah, hey, there's Zach the Demon Lord. Hey world, this is Zach the Demon Lord, and you're getting another YouTube video. You know what it is, we'll be continuing on with the Build Hyarta Lyric videos. Uh, we will be doing the final four songs today. Obviously, one at a time, as per usual. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to, to do that. And yeah, it's, it's gonna be good. Hope you enjoy as well. Um, I also want to mention that after these build chart videos, um, I will obviously continue making videos. I might do it, you know, at a slower pace because I'll have to think of different ideas, uh, stuff like that. Um, I do have two ideas in mind. Uh, I was kind of thinking whether just to wait and let you guys figure it out or just to reveal what I'll be doing. Uh, I'll just reveal what I'll be doing. That's what I've decided. Um, yeah. So the next two videos, what I have in mind. One video, not very specific. Well, it, as specific, but it's, you know, kind of like a lot of my videos. It'll be normal. Just... Uh, kind of random, kind of uh, winging it sort of video. I'll be, uh, I thought I'd do a sort of a drive tour video of my hometown, uh, Twin Falls, Idaho. Thought I'd, you know, drive around the important streets to give, and by important streets, I mainly mean like the boulevard kind of streets and across a, an important part of my town to uh, give people a feel for, I guess the big things and then as well going over the map uh, of Twin Falls and kind of showing hey this is how things are set up uh, expect these things in these areas I was thinking of doing something along those lines anyways uh, and then for the other video like uh, all polyglots do it's almost uh, a joke <laughs> at this point or a rite of passage uh, for any linguist or polyglot sort of YouTubers is I thought I would go do like a Duolingo review video where basically I go over you know Duolingo and my opinions on Duolingo and how I think it uh, checks up to other sort of language websites and how I think it is for you know a learning tool I thought I'd uh, do that sort of video as well uh, that's the two videos I have in mind, but yeah, uh, outside of that, I don't got much else uh, to talk about, but yeah, let's uh, get into today's content though. For this video, we'll be going over the lyrics of the Vild Hjerta song, Sunset Sunrise, of which sounds like... Again... Pretty good song. I don't know what you got from that three second snippet, but it's it's all of them are pretty good. But yeah, let's uh, get into it. So the first line we have got Selan har vi skoldat en sådan tragist figur, uh, which would translate to Seldom have we beheld a such tragic figure. Uh, which, yeah, uh, obviously it doesn't make too much sense in modern day English, <laughs> but if I were to kind of translate that over to modern English, it'd be like, um, like seldom have we beheld like such a tragic figure. I think that's, uh. The big difference is the such will go before the A. So, yeah, it would be such a tragic figure. I think outside of that, it makes pretty uh, good sense. Otherwise, another way you could do that is like, like, uh, like, like we, we have, we have seldom beheld such a tragic figure. I think that's the only other way I can think of that it makes sense. I think though, 
I think don't English. We would stick like with the Swedish now. Selden have we, you know? I think that's what we would do. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, uh, next line we have got. Vadir Duhar. What do's you hear? Or, yeah, what does you hear? Um, obviously in English, um, doesn't make too much sense, but what that I'm saying is like, like, what are you doing here? Basically. And then, uh, next line we have got, Lugnare, liar. <laughs> uh, which obviously makes sense if you're just saying one word. It's gonna make sense uh, depending on what the word is, but we're just call, uh, whoever um, the perspective of the singer they're calling someone a liar. And then the next line, though, up the same route, is "bedrogare," uh, imposter. So we got a liar, and now we've got an imposter. So someone is faking it. Someone is imposing as someone else. Uh, but yeah. And then the next line we have yet yeah, we have got Vadier de Retin at Khenda den Platz. What gives you the right to defile this place? Which in English makes sense too. So he's telling this person off. He's saying, What gives you the right to defile this place? So whoever this person is, they're a liar, they're a faker, and basically whatever place this is, they're doing you bad. They're doing it dirty. Um, not in a uh, in that sort of way. Defile as in, I think, with all their lyrics, this is just my uh, idea, or uh, what I can tell. I think <laughs> with the religious themes, it's like maybe there's some sort of uh, temple or church or holy place, and this person is imposing as a maybe a holy person. But by doing that, they're 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 doing the place wrong. They're bringing their unholy energy into this holy space. Maybe, maybe that's just an idea. We'll figure out more as we get into the song more. Uh, and then the next line is "Du on scans furbud," which is basically it's uh, kind of, kind of hard to translate. Uh, well, it's not hard to translate, it's just when you, you're going to hear the direct Swedish, what it translates as, and think, what? But yeah, it would mean, you evil's harbinger, harbinger, which, in English, we would reverse that and say, you harbinger of evil. I think when we're calling someone out as something, when we say you, blah, 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 like if it's you, and then just one word, that's okay. But when we're saying like someone in, in a genitive case, we wouldn't say like you evil's harbinger because in English that does not make sense. We would uh, rather go with the sort of uh, romance or Latin based language idea of the of structure. So we would uh, reverse that to you harbinger of evil. Which if you don't know what a harbinger is, a harbinger is basically a uh, catalyst or a bringer or, you know, like a cause. So it's like you bringer of evil, you um, causer of evil, that sort of thing. Anyways, <laughs> next line we have. Uh, the planner som uh, smitits med blod o torar. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, that's where the Swedish ends, even though uh, I thought there was more. Oh, you're in here. Say hi to my cat, or not. He went under the bed, he wouldn't let me grab him, but my, I heard a noise and I was like, what was that? My cat's in here, sneaky little guy. Anyways, so, <laughs> again, we had the planner som smitit me blo o torar, which would mean uh, the plans that were infected with blood and tears, which makes sense in English too. Uh, yeah, and then next thing we have Vi förs dem med 
Sheftar Oklor. We defend them with Jaws and Claws. Which, I don't think they were trying to have something that rhymes in English, but they ended up having something that rhymes with English. Uh, but yeah. So, whatever the case is, um, they, they're going to defend these plans, presumably. And they're willing to do that with Jaws and Claws, so they will bite and scratch you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, jokes aside, uh, let's get to the next line. Next line is... Uh, Patetiska Varelse, uh, pathetic creature. Which makes sense. Next line, Din Blote Narvaro, your mere presence. Again, it kind of makes sense. I don't think, um, like it's grammatically correct. I don't think in English though that we would be like just randomly out of the blue, blah 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 like this, like your mere presence, uh, but uh, maybe it connects to the next lines, so let's continue. Next line, En chunf mot vor brillans, uh, which is a glimpse against our brilliance, uh, or towards our brilliance. Um, so, yeah, whatever I guess the person's present might presence might be a glimpse towards uh, their brilliance uh, who knows and <laughs> next next line is though may you rot in darkness and oblivion uh, which yeah dark line uh, makes sense in English though it's grammatically correct uh, so yeah, uh, I don't know what else to say about that. It's, it's correct. It's grammatic. Uh, next line. Patetiska varelse. Pathetic creature. We got that, you know, line again. Uh, and then, next line we have. Iskala ugon yaktar min ankomst. Ice cold eyes, watch my arrival. Which, uh, when you when you actually translate, it's like uh, like, not like a, I think this is not less of a like a I'm watching like I'm watching the TV that sort of watch. It's more like a watching as a watching for something. So maybe I think it's like like basically eyes cold eyes watch for my arrival, or like look towards my arrival or await my arrival that sort of uh, watch. Anyways, and then next line we have Desblicar Briner. Its gazes are burning. So these ice cold eyes. I think this is a funny uh, contrast though. And by the way, that sentence was correct in, in English as well, uh, grammatically. Uh, so whatever these. Whatever the case is, what I'm trying to get to is this kind of. Uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, like an ironic or idiotic sort of sentence. Because. Um, there's ice cold eyes, ice cold eyes watching their arrival, right? But it, the gaze of those eyes are burning. So they're cold, but they're so cold that they burn. It's like when you get like an ice burn. Uh, I think that's a thing, uh, from what I know. It's like a, when something is so cold that it burns, which is a weird idea to think about, but yeah. That's kind of interesting. Next line, though, we get Dom ser racht ienom min huelv. They see straight through me or myself, literally. Um, so, yeah. That's, uh, I think, pretty grammatically correct. Yeah, they see straight through myself or straight through me. I think we would uh, be more likely to see say me instead of myself in that case but yeah it's still pretty correct um, in English as well next time we have Skreken uh, Lums Lore the horror paralyzes again makes sense uh, and the next time we have Sundrar O Fortar disintegrates and consumes which would 
connect with the last uh, line. It's like a, if, as if there were commas there. So it'd be like the whore paralyzes, disintegrates, and consumes. So this whore, it makes you go stiff. Then it starts to eat away at you. And then you just end up disappearing, basically. And then we got a copy line. Uh, Vod your duhar. Uh, what does you here? Or what are you doing here? Lugnada, again, liar. Bedrugada, again, <laughs> imposer, imposter. Uh, Vadia de Retten at Khenda Denaplatz. Again, what gives you the right to defile this place? Duon Skans Furbud. You evil's har harbinger. You harbinger of evil. And yeah, that's the end of this song. Hope you enjoyed learning the lyrics of the song and what they mean. Uh, yeah was a good one we'll see you in the next one um yeah please like share subscribe all that good stuff and yeah we'll see you in the next one until then hello